Hello, welcome to this demo uh, using Tableau Prep to create a pass map. So basically a, a pass map from A to B. So each pass is, is sort of lined out. I had done this previously in some other tools, but I want to show you how you would do it in this new Tableau Prep, which now comes with a, a Tableau Creator license. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect to my data. So I've got my file in here. And you can see it's come in, it's brought in some characteristics about the file and then it lists all of the the data that's that's within that here so i'm only interested in this case in foot pass successful and um, for gaelic football so i'm just going to add a quick filter in here and say the event is equal to foot pass Okay, so I'm only interested in those. So it'll bring my data set down um, a little bit uh, in terms of in terms of what I'm what I'm looking at. Okay, so I'm just going to add a step in here. With a step, just basically allows me profile the data first of all. So I can see I've got 81 in this one game. I've got 81 passes, and um, all with a, a unique name here. The position in the in the video, uh, the duration, the breakdown, team, and various things. And then over. Uh, along the field position so this is the xy coordinate okay so at the moment this is uh, in all within one but we'll split this out so i'm going to split values to a sorry i'll do an automatic split okay and that should give us our two um here so let's just rename that field as x start so this is where the pass is started and uh, this is y start okay so i'm just separating that out into a numeric field and then i should have a field position too so this is where the pass is ended so again we'll just do an automatic split and back at the start here i have field position two split so again i'm just going to rename that as um, x end and rename this one as y end okay so that's my my data quickly cleaned up there is one other thing i'm going to add because i'm going to do this for multiple games i do need a, a unique value per row so i need to create something that's that's distinct to every distinct to every single row so I'm going to create a calculated field um, and I'm going to call it event key. So this is for later on when we when we go to do a join. Um, so I'm going to just make something up. So I'm going to make string of game date plus string of game teams plus string of the position. OK, so this is basically saying for the date, the game, and the position in, in all those, just make them as one file. It doesn't really matter what this says, I just need it to be unique. And there's no two teams that will have played on the same date and had an event or a pass at exactly the same time. There will be some difference in the position. So this gives me my unique value, and this is this is important, my event key. Okay, so again, you can see I get 81, which is exactly what I want. So 81 rows, and I get this uh, profile of the data down here. Okay. So that's um, that's looking good. So I'm going to add a step in here um, because I want to go back and branch out. So I essentially want to have two streams. This blue stream is going to be for the start and this yellow stream is going to be for the end. Okay. So what I want to do is remove the end from this one because i'm going to union these on now in a second so remove field remove x and y so i'm left with this and i need to create one more field within this and it's going to be called path okay so this again will allow us to set the direction so one essentially is for the start and two is going to be for the end so again this is going to add the number one to every single row of data and allows us to identify this as the path okay as the start if i go up to my end point this is where I'm going to remove the start and the end. And I'm actually going to rename these. Um, sorry, what did I... I need to remove this one. 
Um, I'm actually going to rename these as just X and Y. Because I don't want them to be different when I go to do the union. And the same here. So I want to make sure this one is called X and this one is called Y. Okay. And then in here, I also need to add in my path so that this is identified as two. Excellent. So I've got my two streams. I've only my start coordinates in one and only my end coordinates in the other. So now I'm going to do a union. So I'm going to drag and drop one on top of the other. And I can see that I've got my event keys. So you can see I've got 81 um, distinct event keys. And I should have two rows for each. The path one and two. The table names. Um, so y end and y start. So I need to just go back. Okay, so this didn't rename here. So I just want to make sure that that's y. And yeah, didn't rename here. Okay, so they just didn't uh, they didn't union together correctly. But I should get them now. You'll notice that by the color, so blue and yellow. Um, so I should get all matches across, and I have. Okay, so that looks perfect. So I'm going to just add a step here. I'm going to right click and preview in Topo Desktop. Okay, so this is just going to preview the data within Desktop. Okay. And what I want to do is make a map now. So we've got our X and our Y. I'm going to add in a background image. So I have a bitch. Okay, and I know my coordinates are like so. Okay, and I'm going to use that event key on detail to show each and every one. Just want to, yeah, okay. So we want to disaggregate the the data, and um, so now we've got the points, and we're going to turn these into a line, okay. And we just want to make sure that the path, and um, so I should have a. So here we have a path. Let's just make that a dimension and drop that onto that, okay. So we make sure that it's going from one to two. And let's drag path onto the size. Um, and we can edit the size over here. Uh, and we'll just reverse it. So I just wanted to go from one, so it means it starts. So it's almost like an arrow pointing from one to the other. And then I have a field here called pass outcome that I can add on to color. Okay, so I can see what ones were kicked to 50 50, contested, uncontested, unforced, or so on. Um, wasn't quite the one I was looking for. So event on color. Yeah, and I can see successful and unsuccessful as that. And then what I could do is I could add, you know, the game date as a filter and the game teams as a filter. Uh, I've only got one in each case. And then maybe add team to the rows. Oh, where the columns may look better. Yeah, so I can see both teams. Uh, let's get rid of the headers. Okay, so I can see both teams, the foot passes they've made within the game, and which are successful and unsuccessful. Okay, so that looks great, but it would be even better to be able to do that uh, for an entire data set. Okay, so I'm going to save this now. I'll just put it onto my desktop. Uh, book one, that's fine. Okay, and now what I'd like to do is go back to prep. And I haven't finished this, this was just a preview. What I want to do is go back one step and instead of just doing this file by file, I'm going to set up a wildcard union. So I've got my wildcard union set up here. It's looking in the CSVs folder, which is what I want. Um, And I want it, I'm just going to stick an asterisk and basically anything that ends in 2017.csv. Okay, so it's going to look at these 60 files and I can apply that now. And it will apply all of these steps to that workflow as I go. So when I click on clean four, I can now begin to see what that's going to look like. So as it's pushing through um, all of the data set. So I'm going to add one more step and this is going to be an output step. 
Um, I'm going to just save it to a local file. Um, let's just again put that on my desktop. Okay, so it's a hyper file and I can run the flow. So it's going to process those 60 games, filter out all the data, do the cleaning, path one, path two. And then it's going to create a hyper file at the end of this that I can then open up in Tableau. Okay, so you can see it takes 13 seconds. Um, so let's go and have a look at my book one here. So this is the one that I had saved from our, um, from our uh, temporary file. So would I like to edit the connection? So I would. Um, so that just means it can't find the, the temporary one. So point it to the real one. So it's this output. So all the files are the same. Everything should update. So here we go. Okay, so it looks a little bit messy here, but if we make this a single value dropdown, for example, um, means as I flick through the games, I get an entire season's worth of passing maps brought up. And obviously you could do, you could tidy that up in, in Tableau in terms of how you want to look at it, whether you want to look at it on a game by game basis or, or just a team, a team basis would be, would be fine. But that's a, a quick demo of how to do a pass map within um, Tableau Prep on Tableau.